Coronation Street fans will be shocked after a TV heartthrob was banned from drama teaching for acting out his sexual fantasies with a schoolgirl and flirting with two other teen pupils. Anthony Besick played four roles on The Cobbles, Gangster Lewis Knox, Streetcars Cabbie Vernon Bradshaw, Dying Hospital Patient Mike Scott and Fireman Vince Lonsdale. He played Mike Scott again on Harry Hill's TV Burp, poking fun at his character's death scene. The Bolton-based actor, who specializes in bad boy roles, also appeared in The Royal, Immerdale, Boy Meets Girl, The Street, K. Miller's The Chase, and Truth Dare Kiss. While a jobbing actor, he was also working as a drama coach at Dring School of Performing Arts, Britain's Fame Academy, under his real name Anthony Cook. The 57-year-old has now been banned from the classroom for life over his sordid behaviour at the £39,000 a year boarding academy in Hertfordshire. Dring has produced some of Britain's biggest stars, most recently Lily James, X Factor singer Ella Henderson, and Life After Life's Jessica Brown Findlay. A misconduct panel was told Cook slash Besick was involved in filmmaking with the students and would comment on their performances via social media and text. But with three girls, referred to only as Pupil A, Pupil B, and Pupil C the conversations took a sinister turn. On the night of the school ball in July 2016 he took Pupil A to the staff room and offered her beer from the fridge according to co-workers who interrupted him. He messaged her begging her to indulge his sexual fantasies of being squashed and or crushed and or sat or stood on top of, teaching watchdogs found Mr. Cook also accepted that his actions in taking Pupil A to the staff room for the purpose of, redacted, originated from this sexual fantasy, the panel said. While living on the grounds as school caretaker, he messaged Pupil B, you should come down for a ghost hunting sesh one night or, sick. Not too bad after a few shots of body. He shared a picture of two pairs of naked legs on a bed and messaged her, Uni, Shmuni. Can be a waste of seeing time. Just been for a costume fitting today. Have to wear a big FK off mustache. Look like a Victorian porn star. He began to pester Pupil C while a student taking part in one of his productions in 2015 and then again in 2018, by which time she was an established performer. In 2015, he sent her snap of him pouting with the message here you go. A little memento. Don't go flick a bean over it, a reference to female masturbation. Congratulating her on her performance on Facebook, he drooled, I love what you did and it's sometimes hard to separate the actress from the role. I am saying this on FB as I would find it hard to say to you in school. Three years after she had left, he reconnected with her in 2018, asking for a personalized animated logo to promote one of his school movies and perform for him as well. He told her, be cool having some top toddy in the logo. Could you squish a real one if need be? Told me class that an X-string, top toddy superstar may be in their film. He also asked her to perform an act related to one his sexual fantasies, according to Penny Griffith, who chaired the teaching regulation agency hearing. She said, Mr. Cook's conduct affected the way he fulfilled his teaching role, since he had blurred the teacher-pupil boundary and demonstrated a disregard for school policies. Furthermore, his actions exposed those pupils to his sexual fetishes. Finding Mr. Cook was guilty of unacceptable professional conduct. Ms. Griffin added, he has referred to having lost a position that he loved. 
but he has not demonstrated an understanding of the impact on pupils and the school. His actions spanned a number of years. The nature of his communications with pupils and former pupils was sexually motivated, and on one occasion culminated in acting out his fantasies with a pupil in the school. He accepts that he was sexually motivated when he engaged in this conduct, in that it was done in pursuit of sexual gratification. Mr. Cook had engaged in sexually motivated conduct in that it was done in pursuit of sexual gratification as his actions related to his own sexual fantasies. Banning him for life John Knowles, for the Education Secretary, underlined, the panel found that Mr. Cook was responsible for sexually motivated conduct using his position to engage with pupils and former pupils for his own sexual gratification.